Hello, it's Jean. So I'm back with a little mixed media project today. And if you've been following any of my videos for August, I'm working on embellishments. And I want to show you, you may have seen these already if you viewed the video, but um, I had made some drawings and then I put them on the back of some ATC size cards and made some really cute um, ephemera embellishments for your journal. So what we're going to do today, these were done on a piece of cardstock. So the cardstock worked great um, for cutting the ATCs. Today we're going to be working on some watercolor paper. And I have two pieces here because my book of watercolor paper is um, smaller this time. I have to have my husband get me a big one next time he goes to the store. So I have a couple different ideas, but the main idea today is to do a monochromatic color scheme. And basically what that means is we're going to be using if you find the blue or the green on the color wheel, we're going to be using variations of that color. And I have here several colors that are in that realm. Um, I have some shimmer spray. I have some oxide ink. I have some acrylic paint. And the acrylic paint is already colored in that color scheme that we want to use. We're using kind of a aquamarine, some green, um, some different uh, colors on the green scale. And white, we're gonna be using some white, or in this case, this is a toasted marshmallow, which is kind of a cream color. So let me show you what we're going to do first. I have a huge pile of scraps here. So we're going to apply the scraps to the watercolor paper. Since we're not going to be doing any type of fancy drawing, I'm not going to prepare the surface. I'm not going to gesso it because we really don't need to do that for this particular project. We may use gesso later, but the idea of the gesso is to place it on the, on the surface of what you're going to be working with and prepare that surface for whatever medium you're going to use. So, for example, if we were going to use all, um, if we were gonna use all acrylic paint on this, we might want to prepare it so that it can grab the mediums. But with the fact that we're using paper as well on top of this, we don't really need to gesso it. My gesso is white. I don't use the clear gesso. So um, that's one thing. Additionally, uh, what I normally use to glue is my Liquitex gel medium, but I also have a golden one and I'm trying to locate that one really quick because I was pretty sure that it was just right. You know, everything's, I see it now, it's too far. Let me get my, if you do not have a handy dandy grabber, Please get one because they are so darn helpful. If I could reach mine. 
to grab stuff that is far away. So, I, and that wasn't even it. Okay, no problem. We will use, oh, here, it's sitting right in front of me. Okay, so, you can use Liquitex. You can use Golden. This is a soft gel mat. The other is what I'm more accustomed to using, but this is great too. So, the way that you use this is you can use it as a glue or you could just use it to seal your piece later. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use mine as a glue. So let me find my large bee brush. And let me see. I need to dry it off. You don't need to use water with this at all. So you could start by putting some down or as you glue, you can put additional gesso down. So the papers that I've chosen, I want to also be in that blue, teal, greenish color. Now, unfortunately, I'm probably going to get um, some pink in there, and that's okay. Um, I like pink, but I'll probably um, color that out once we do our paint, get rid of that pink. So... This is not a science. It's just putting down pieces where you think they look best or where you think they should go just to fill up your page. I know a lot of people, um, I shouldn't say a lot of people. I know some of the folks that are trying out this process and are having issues with the um, edges sticking down. So I have had that problem myself. So I'm going to use some of this gel medium and hopefully it will stick where I want it to stick and all the edges will stay down. And all these products work together. So once, if you use Li Liquitex or Golden and you decide you want to um, cut down um, or do some collage work and you're thinking, oh, well, if I seal, if I use this glue, it's not going to allow me to adhere other things on top. And that's actually not true because like I said, all these things work together. So. And when you're doing, I'm ju I just happen to be using watercolor paper today because there's a certain way that I want to tear my papers. Um, this is comical. It'll have some brown in it, but that'll be okay. Let's see if we can put this right here. Oh, I don't want it there. Let's put it down here. And I know I have lots. And then we can go into the blue group a little bit because there's going to be some teal. But I, I kind of want to stay away from blue. Um, let's see. 
what else I have. I have some Stamperia. So don't hate me if I'm going to use this for collage. But it just is the right color. So if you don't know what Stamperia is, it is a wonderful company that does matching papers, little um, tags, things like that. And I want to get um, some you can see here I used a little bit of white and I want to use white and a little bit of cream as well. The other thing that will be happening with this is there's different kinds of paper. So the Stamperia paper and some of the other cardstock paper that I'm using that comes from um, scrapbook paper will obviously be stiffer or um, if you want to say going to be a little bit of a harder cardstock, it's going to cause some really interesting texture, which I love. So let me see, here's a magazine that has some color on it we can use. I think this came out of a book actually. This down here. And I wanted to keep that circle shape, so we'll use some of this over here on the edge. are um, images of tiles so I'm going to cut some of them out because they're kind of in our color scheme now I have two pieces of uh, paper here and I plan to do two but I think I'm only going to do one with you on camera and then I will do the others later. I just want to show you. Now, this is a digital that I have. Um, I'm not sure if I have it in my coffee shop, but if I don't, I'll make sure so you guys can use it either for journaling cards or for your collages or whatever you want to use it for. Now, this one goes into a little bit of purple. And I don't think I'm going to use purple today, so that'll probably end up getting covered up. I don't want to use purple. Such an, uh, a nice, like, rainy, not really rainy, but kind of calm day out. Calm day for arting. These seashells are in my coffee shop. So if you love um, fantasy things and you love seashells and pearls, it's definitely a great collage sheet for you. Uh, da -da -da. Okay, this page here has some really nice teal on it, and I love the yellow. Let me put a big stripe. Of this. Right here. And see how with that gel medium, you can just smooth it down and it does not leave 
um, any pieces sticking up. Okay, here's some other papers that I did. Let me see if I can get some of this one. This one has some blue in it. It's okay. We will we will roll with the blue. My paper got torn there a little bit. That's okay. All right, we'll just work with that. And I will put this piece over here. Now you may notice a little bit of buckling of the paper and that's due to the matte medium. It will sometimes cause your paper to buckle. So if you are not going to immediately use it, uh, you can. That's the great thing about gel medium. You do not have to wait for it to dry. You can if you want to, but you can go ahead and start your acrylic paint um, because remember, they go together with all these products, so. But if you do, just put it under a book or two and, and um, it'll dry. Uh, just make sure that you don't um, have it stuck down to something. So you may want to put a piece of parchment paper or something under it. Wax paper would work. And let's see. I think I'm done with those. Here's another little piece I can add. And we'll put it over here. It's funny, when I first started watching people do um, this type of art, mixed media, using um, scraps of paper and collaging, and then coloring over it, it didn't make a whole lot of sense to me as to why someone would do that but you will see that in some instances you can still see what's at the bottom not always let me see do i have anything else this is kind of a green a weird green i'll use it for the corner so a lot of this that i have is just scrapbook paper i have a lot of scrapbook paper. Some of it's cut down, some of it's still in its 12 by 12 sheets. So might be telling me I need to come up with some 12 by 12 projects, huh? Okay, let's see, what did I not, what did I not use? I don't want black on there. What's on the other side that's red? I think we'll use some more of that. And this is kind of a weird one, but I'll use a piece of it. It has pink, but we'll forgive it for now. I get in a pink mood and then I'm done. So almost everyone is talking about the Olympics. Did you all get to watch? Um, I think the gymnasts, um, Simone has been amazing. And for her to be um, 27 and still be able to um, do some of those amazing 
tumbles and flips. I just can't imagine how at 27, my body, I don't think would be able to do that. But I guess if you train all your life, it can. Okay, so here are some daisies. I'm gonna tear out some daisies and put them on here. And I was watching some of the old ones because um, I remember from being younger and watching the Olympics. Um, was it her name Mary Lou Retton? I can't remember exactly, but she was amazing. She, she was um, coached by um, a German or a um, Romanian defector, and she did amazing. And she said it was it was just the way he was, how he was a such a great trainer. And I think that's what it comes down to. That you have a trainer. I don't like that. So I'm just gonna put this piece on. This is a thicker piece of cardstock. Okay, so we are almost there. We need a couple pieces or two. So let me take it off of, where's that other? Let me take some off of this. Here's a butterfly. I don't know if it will show through. But we'll put it down here. Mm -mm. Too big. Sometimes you just decide that something doesn't go one place and it'll go better another. And it always surprises my brain how that works, how we see, oh, that doesn't go there. It should go here instead. And that to me is amazing. Let me use some more book paper. I don't have very much on here. Right here, okay. And then is that some of the it dep de how you tear the page can sometimes make white marks. See right here, and um, I can never remember how to tear it so it doesn't do that. But I'm gonna add this book page over that piece pretty thin. Okay. And where else do I want to add some? Right here. And I'm going to put some down here in this corner. The corner is already dry. right down here okay um, I think I have okay I have this strip here goodness gracious
I'll just cut off the excess then. sleepy today for some reason it's not raining but for some reason I feel sleepy so there we go we have our page that we're going to use we have it all gessoed up and now we have the fun part of not gessoed all collaged up now we have the fun part of actually being able to paint it. So I haven't tried all these paints yet, but I'm sure they're beautiful. Well, those that dropped out quick. In case I, I despise these plastic things. Ugh, they are. So this is the color that I want to go with, this aquamarine type color. Let me see what this says. It's a matte. So I'm just going to go around some of these places and apply the color that I originally wanted to have. Now you're seeing some of the paper come up. That's probably because there wasn't any gel medium under there. But you can use the paint to kind of kind of stick it back down. I actually have some right here. Now gel medium will pick up the color, pick up color like for example on this piece and down here on these pieces that were done being that were sprayed um you when you run your gel medium over it it will change it to the bluish color so keep that in mind i'm gonna put a little bit of this up here that's really liquidy i want to cover up all these little white spots from tearing the paper correctly. Okay, that's great. Now I want to go with this lighter blue. Now it came out a little bit thicker. That's okay. trying to get this corner here and cover up any colors that are just not really in our in our um, line of colors so I'm gonna go over this one right here that's pink and just kind of put some of this in a couple different places and I covered up the camera okay as my son would say when he was a little crammer my babies aren't little anymore my daughter's here actually helping out today because my um, my husband's not feeling well and since I have to use the walker most of the time, um, I can't really do much. So hopefully in the next couple months, I'll be able to get my knee done, at least one of them, and I'll be in a lot better shape. How about that? I think that sounds amazing. But when you have 
um, other ailments like fibromyalgia and things like that, it, it's difficult. Now, there's one piece there that's lifting up. I'm gonna take another paintbrush and go in with the gel medium and try to flatten that out. I don't wanna use the one that I'm putting paint on because it will color it. So hopefully there's enough on there to keep it down. I do use my finger sometimes, so that's why a lot of times my manicure doesn't look that fabulous. Okay, so there we have the darker teal. I love that. And then I'm going to go in with some lime. I'm gonna go over the camera again, and I'm just gonna drop some lime here and there. And this is going to bring out really um, some beautiful colors. I love this color. It is appealing to the eye and it is fun to use. Okay, and it, and I'm dry brushing this so you all um can um, definitely water this down a little bit if you want to. I don't, I just dry brush it on. So now what this is gonna do because of my paintbrush, it's gonna change the color a little bit, which is fine. I'm trying to get um, colors that go together. Okay. Now, I've used pretty much all my colors with the exception of white, and that's okay. I'm going to take some of the Shimmer Mist, and this is by Delusions. Um, it's called Blue Lagoon, and I'm gonna spray some of this on. And it's gonna give it a little bit of shimmer. Now, because it's on top of the paint and the gel medium, it will run. So we can hold it up like this and like this and we can get it to run a little bit. I'm gonna get a wet wipe and just sop up some of the extra. It was so funny. I sent my husband to get me some of these um, wipes and um, I wanted them for my art room for cleaning uh, up my desk and things and for this purpose, as you see. But what was comical is he came back with this huge box and I'm like, honey, we don't need a huge box of wipes. And he said, he says to me, well, that was the picture you sent. So I have to sometimes send him pictures of what I need. And I accidentally sent him a picture with um, wipes that were
in a huge box instead of just like a three pack. So this is a beautiful color. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking I want more of this. It got a little green for me, so hopefully this will, okay, it's not, it's gonna, okay. Let me try something. So taking water and wetting where you added paint, you can make all kinds of drips and other things that will stand out. So that's what I did with that blue to give it a little bit more blue. Also, if you watch me enough, you know I have my trusty tube here. So I'm going to go in, let's see what color I want to, that's dark. I'm going to go in with this same color. I'm just going to pour it out over here and get it all over the bottom of my tube. And I'm going to stamp some circles so that we can get some other interest in here in this lighter color that I wanted. So with, I love circles. Um, you can use um, um, all kinds of things to make designs. You just look around your home and see what makes a good shape and go with that. So this one is full of circles, blue circles. Okay. Okay, this is going to have to dry a little bit and when it dries I will come back for part two and we will continue embellishing this. I'm going to do the second page um, and I will see you then. So don't forget to stop by and see what we do with this beautiful mess. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.